Hello, art friends. This is Miss Joyce from the Creative Kids Art Bus. That's right. Artie the Art Bus and I are about to get creative with you. Let's go. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Joyce with the Creative Kids Art Bus, bringing you a lot of creativity today. We are going to be doing a really cool sketch. I hope everybody's been doing well. I know that the sun is starting to shine and it's amazing weather. And you know what I love to do most in this weather is art. That's right. We're doing art today. So happy Canada Day going out to everyone watching right now. And what we will be doing on this episode is we are going to be doing a virtual workshop where Miss Joyce, yours truly, is going to be teaching you how to sketch our Canadian flag. Are you ready? Let's do this, Markham. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the basics of the Canadian flag. So our Canadian flag is a rectangled shape followed by two red rectangular areas, a white center with an 11 pointed maple leaf. Let's get started drawing out the rectangle for the Canadian flag. Drawing out your rectangle is one long line at the top, a shorter line at the side, go long again at the bottom, go back up. Perfect. So a rectangle has two long ends and two short ends almost like a Kleenex box, a box of tissue. It's got two long ends and two shorter ends. So we'll draw our rectangle just the same. Two long ends and two short ends. In our next step, we will use the width of our hand. Put it on the left side. Do you see where it lines up to the edge of the flag rectangle? Where your thumb is, using the width of your hand, is where our first section of the Canadian flag's rectangle will go. Draw a line straight up. And that is the first section. And again, you'll see that it is the width of your pinky to your thumb. Do that on the other side. Put your thumb on the right side and the inner part of your hand will determine the right side of the second part of the rectangle. Now this next part, we're going to color in both of those sections. You can use either a red crayon or a red marker. I like using both, but you can feel free to use any one that you like to draw with and color with as well. Be careful not to color in the middle area because this is the area that we are going to be drawing our maple leaf. If moms and dads are helping along, here is a little six step tutorial that we will be following in how to draw the maple leaf that you can pause and follow along to. Okay, art friends, time to draw the maple leaf. This is almost like writing the number one. Can you help me write the number one right in between our flag? Just like that. One. Like we're one finger. You're doing so good, art friends. One finger, drawing one. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a Y. So we're going to do a letter Y. We've gone from numbers, now we're going to go to a letter. Most of us by now have mastered a Y. Maybe you even have the letter Y in your first name. So making a Y is another step 
for our maple leaf. It's very important because each of these points now in our next step will be needed. Our next step is almost like drawing little birds on top of each of those points, just like this. Do you notice how each of these points in the third step have a little, almost like a little bird. I call these birds, it's the first way that we were learning how to draw birds in our landscape pictures. So we're gonna do one of these curves on each of our Y points just like that. Let's do this art friends. Making these curves is very simple. Start out from the top of the point of the first Y and curve it down below that point. You want to make sure it looked like a bird. Again, starting from the point, you're going to go down and over. Make sure that the point is higher than your curves. Again, on the point, down, down. Curve it below the point. If you want to go back, and just make them a little darker, you can. Miss Joyce is using a darker pencil so you can actually see the drawings that I'm doing. Now, you're going to take one bird wing to the other and connect it by almost making a loop and a U. So you're gonna go and make a U from one of those bird wings into the other and do that again on the other side and you can see that now we are trying to connect our maple leaves the points together are just like a U so connecting the points in between the two bird into a U and you can also do that now with the last Point. That's right. Again, we're making another U. This U is a little bit cut short. It's almost like a hook, but we're still going to make a U. You're attempting to draw a Canadian flag, and not a lot of people can do this, art friends. So you're doing a very good job. So let's review. In the first picture, we drew a number one. In the second picture, we drew the letter Y. In the third picture, we added the birds. In the fourth picture, we connected the two birds by making a U. In the fifth picture, we made another U on the bottom part of our other two birds. Now what we have to do is connect those two lines together, just like in the sixth picture. Miss Joyce has now gone back into the art studio to complete the outline of our maple leaf you could use a red marker and just go over the maple leaf again this is a maple leaf that I did at a different drawing that I had in the art studio so we're just using this one to go over it but you should have the outline of your maple leaf already like we did in the first part and now the best part is that we get to start coloring it in so outline the maple leaf using a red marker. It's my favorite. I go over it a few times and give it a very bold look. So I'll let you go ahead and do that. One of the very first colors that I painted on the art bus was red. I believe that red, just like our Canadian maple leaf, is a very important color because it is very symbolic of who we are as Canadians. So I started off by painting the art bus. The very first color I used was red and that was because we are Canadian and we are a proud Canadian company. Let's go ahead and color in 
the two sides of our flag. Now we can go ahead and outline our flag. Go back over all of your pencil markings with the red marker. Doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be shading it in. So let's start again. What did we do first? We drew a rectangle and then we drew out the first two parts. Connect those two parts. We have an amazing outline of our Canadian flag now. Artists, you did an awesome job. So now's the time where we're gonna grab our favorite marker, our red one, of course, and shade in and color in that entire two sides of the flag. I had to grab another one. My markers were running out. Can you imagine how much coloring Miss Joyce actually does in this art studio? Coloring, painting, drawing, you name it, we have a lot of fun. So go ahead, I'll get you some coloring music. I always like to color with some music. So I'll put some coloring music for you so you can start coloring too and enjoy. Art friends, I hope you enjoy coloring. Here is the Canadian National Anthem. And whenever I hear it, I get very patriotic. I love the country that I live in and I grew up in. Canada is my favorite and my only home. Miss Joyce came to Canada when I was very young and the first song that I remember learning was O Canada and going to school and singing it in the morning with my friends and my teachers and that was a very very important part because at that time I learned how to color color in both sides don't forget the other side so I hope you enjoy coloring and I hope you enjoy the Canadian national anthem and drawing the Canadian flag my art friends you did an amazing job staying in the lines coloring all the areas red and maybe you can teach somebody else how to draw the Canadian flag too. Great job art friends. I was totally singing along as well in my heart and in my mind, but I know that some of you at home may have been singing out loud and I am so proud of all of you. Your Canadian flags are looking amazing. And I wanna just remind you all that you are not only going to be using markers, you can use crayons too if you'd like. If crayons are something that you prefer to draw with, then you can do that as well. These are the two areas that you are to draw and color in red. Now, Miss Joyce also likes to go ahead and go into our colors with another medium, which is a crayon. So once you finish coloring it in, it should look like this. We can now start coloring in the maple leaf. I used a crayon for both sides of the flag and I went over my markers and that's why it looks a little darker. Now you can use your red crayon and we can color the inside of our maple leaf as well. So just going in and trying to stay in the lines and color in that maple leaf, give it a nice deep red. Again, stay in your lines, make sure you get in all of your points, all of your 11 points of our maple leaf, maple leaf. Wonderful, that looks amazing. Our friends, this is coming along really great. I can't believe that you all drew the Canadian flag today. I think that you should all give yourselves a big hand and from Miss Joyce and Artie the Art Bus to all my friends that were watching today from Markham I hope you enjoy and I want you to have a very 
very happy Canada Day. That's right. Happy Canada Day to all my art friends. I hope you enjoyed. Have a lot of fun today. Stay safe. If you want to try painting, you can also make it look like this.